what is the best tight slots defense and what is the best halfback pitch defense in Madden 18. So it's kind of the meta right now. You're seeing yeah. it. We gave away the scheme uh, last week, Buffalo Bills playbook, if you've never uh, seen it. Single back tight slots. Yep, we're going to get it for you. People come out in halfback pitch, and they also call to play deep post. We'll link to it in the chat. We'll put it in the description. Make sure you go and watch this. It's a three-part scheme. YouTube.com slash S Gibbs. YouTube.com slash C Farrells. You can check it out. I'm going to come out on the pitch. Sure. You let us know kind of how to slow it down. So there's two ways I like to slow down. I personally think right now the best run defense in the game uh, is actually from nickel 335 normal cover four drop. That's, I like it. I think it gives you good security uh, with your cover four shell. You have good personnel. But primarily why I like it better than some other sets is I like its ability to be very versatile in terms of pass coverage. Uh, you don't have as many guys near the line of scrimmage, which allows you to kind of move guys, tinker, get them in spots to, to protect against the pass. I think 3-4 also really good stopping the run. 4-4 four, four can be good stopping the run, but it struggles with its outside flat support. There is no stock cover two uh, from that set with outside corners in uh, flat zones. But I like nickel 3-3-5. I like cover four drop. As a, as a standard run defense, we'll also get into uh, the play Tampa 2. Uh, you could call it the problem D, right, to help slow down the pitch, and we'll get into that in a second here. A good thing about cover 4 drop, you can come out, and, it, and your quick audible to the right is the cover 2, Tampa 2, the problem D. Right? Yeah. So just something to note there. Now, the way, this is the way I like to run it. So I like to pinch. I'll just show you, I'll show you how the pitch works if you guys haven't seen it. Sure. You can flip it. We talked about it, so we'll talk about these cover 4 setups. So... What I like to do first and foremost, I like to pinch the linebackers. So this is a very small house, housekeeping thing about pinching the linebackers. When you break a huddle, uh, I'm sure everyone out there has, has watched and played many games. When you break the huddle, you can't quickly like get on and click onto a guy and like move him around the screen, right? You can't replicate this in practice, but what happens is when you pinch the, uh, your linebackers, that allows you to quickly get to your safeties and get into position to make a play on the ball. So what I like to do is this. I like to pinch the linebackers. It gives you that little extra split second where you can click on the safeties and get them into position. And I like to move the safeties down to about linebacker depth, just outside the hips of these uh, defensive ends. So you have Thomas outside the hip, and then you got uh, Chancellor outside the hip. Now, what I like to do next is I take the linebacker, and if I think it's going to be a run, like a wham to the right or dive right, what I do is I move them into that gap. I, I, I make it look like that. Now, this hurts you if you run to the left side, mm -hmm. but it, it's all about anticipation. It, and you can stock, leave him there, but what I find is when he's left there, he'll get kind of caught up behind the center to be tackle. But when I shoot him there, he's going to help shoot some lanes a little better. But then I sit back with the, the, uh, my other linebacker in a hook zone right here, and I just try to play run support. The safeties usually shoot gaps, especially against those inside runs. Uh, you can see right there, I'm going to go shoot wide uh, and stop that. Now, this time, run a halfback dive. Because the halfback pitch, this isn't a great run defense, uh, but it's not a terrible run defense. But this is, again, how I set it this up. This is a good overall base play to come out against this popular tight slot. This is overall great base play in general for anything. But you can see that, that finale I had right there. And that, that's me staying back far enough, moving the linebackers, uh, making sure the offensive line are, are looking at Wagner on that side. I move Chancellor down, and then I'm going to kind of hover right here, snap with the ball, and then I got a Canale, and that Canale is going to force you to go right unless you want to take my one-on-one -on, -one on, on that edge. Now, I just want to show you what this looks like here if you run the ball to the to the right on the, or left on the halfback dive. So if you run halfback dive on the left and I'm in this lane, it can kind of get a problem. Like, it's not terrible, but you see you lose the Canale, right? But this is all about trying to create that Canale where I'm going to get a lane to just kind of lay a hit stick on your on your running back. So it's just right here, inside run, snap of the ball, and then I can get there and then make a big play. So that's how I standard want to play inside run support. Um, the other thing you can do is if you're truly wor worried about the safety play, you can bring them in the box like here, right? But then you really lose out against but, the pitch. But that's the problem is like, yes, now your pitch D is, is going right. to struggle. Because like, they're in, and like if you get... That's the problem. You lose your support on the outside. So that's just something to monitor. But you, you want to bring the safeties up because they play great run support. And that's the kind of the way you want to stop interior runs. Now, outside runs, what I would first tell you is the Tampa 2 is fantastic at it uh, because of this outside blitz angle here. Yeah. Now, it's really about – it doesn't have to be this set. But what's good about this set – you see how he blows up the run in the right. backfield. What this set will do is – 
coming out in the cover four, it gives you a good pass D, gives you a good blitz that you have from that Tampa two for pass coverage. So you're versatile in, in if they don't run pitch, they run pitch, whatever they do. Uh, but you're going to force them out of the pitch because they can't run. They're going to try and run to the right. But you could call any formation where there's a slot blitzer, and you're you're going to have success at stopping. So, so with like the pitch, I, one thing that makes it good, right, is you can quickly flip it. Sure. So how do you factor that into your pitch defense? Because obviously the Tampa 2 is mostly left. I just make a I make a predetermined read where I think they're going to go. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll run it like this, and then, I, uh, I'll, again, I like to pinch my linebackers, right? Now, in this instance, you can't get too greedy in cover 2. You can't bring them up too far because you right. get burnt deep. Uh, but if I were thinking you were going to run right, I would just kind of – I would make sure my guy over there, and I would just make sure I'm cheating pretty well. Mm-hmm. Get over, and then you got to scrape, 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 and it still wasn't terrible. But he he didn't get blown up in the backfield. The key is blowing the run up in the backfield. And what I want to show you here is I'm going to go to a uh, the uh, how about the three three five Y? Let's go Tampa two three three five Y. Let's do the same thing. Base line press. The base line press is the key to slowing down the pitch because you have defenders out wide. All right. So let me let me show you this. If I blitz sheet, uh, shed off this edge, and if I just use a wagner here, you run the pitch. I'm going to be in pretty good support to slow you down. And it's because it's all about blowing up that pulling offensive lineman, getting to him first, not letting him kick and get up field to push up field. That's the success in terms of stopping the pitch out wide. Now, the strength of the pitch, why well, you need more pitch, because you could always flip it to the other side. Yeah. And that's the name of the game. That's what makes it extremely difficult to stop you. Now you're one on one. That's the key to the pitch. The pitch is so effective because you get one-on-one situations on outside corners, and you know what one of the best moves in the game is as a running back? Bam. Left trigger, B. Spin move, LaDainian Tomlinson, uh, Shady McCoy. All these guys with fantastic spin early. moves. It just absolutely devastates defenders, and it, if you get by that one guy, see ya. So would you you would recommend just cheating? You wouldn't over-recommend, like, Flipping your defense or, or blitzing a linebacker and throwing them out there. Listen, because you, then you're then you're then you're. Just if, you wanna, if you want to if you want to do this, I don't think that's a terrible idea because you're going to get there and it, see how it gets money. You're going to force them to throw to that flat. Madden 18, you change the thing again, so it says S Gibbs stinks. What does it say? It's too far away. So I can't read it. listen, Madden 18 is a game of it, it's. I think where some frustration, and I know it's some frustration for me when I'm playing comes from, it's a game where like, you just can't have one setup, set it and forget it. You have to always be changing. You have to always be making different adjustments. Uh, it, and right now, there's no one defense, no one play that you can call all game long on the outside of the ball and really be like, oh, I'm going to have success. I mean, I will say defensively, cover two cloud flats, that's pretty close to call that all game, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's I'll, pretty I'll take strong. that back on defense. So that's some ways you can start to stop tight slots in the halfback pitch. you got to be ready for it. Cheat to one side, blitz the other side, and that's going to be your best, most balanced way to do it rather than trying to blitz off of both sides.